Roxy, good job. This baler is work. So yesterday, we did some content creating for Massey. And I had to pull the accumulator off. So now this morning, Jason and I are going through and flipping these bales over so I can, so well, he can pick them up. But look at the regrowth on my alfalfa. You guys, it's beautiful. Beautiful. I just wish this overcast fog humidity would go away because it's not helping dry down time, bailing, everything in between. This is third cut alfalfa. We are going to take the wheel rake back home and grab the rotary rake. We made some phone calls yesterday and realized that uh, we just needed to change how, we, how fast the PTO was running. So we'll do that. Oh, I forgot one. It's very sticky already. Like, definitely burn some calories today. I hope you guys are enjoying the, the videos, hanging out with us, the new drone, all the stuff. We've been very fortunate and blessed to have because you guys support system. That one's already picked up or flopped over. <sighs> Thankfully, we're not actually having to hand stack these. Jason is able to go around with the skid loader and the tie grabber and just pick them up. Makes life so much easier. Because I'm pretty sure I would die right now. Die. Doing it by hand. I could do it. But it would be rough. Ryder's like, I am going to the tractor, Mom. Can you please turn on that tractor? He knows where the AC is. Look at him. He's like, Mama, please. It's hot, Mom. <sighs> um, so I did wash the window yesterday, not that you can tell today because it's dirty again. Actually, I think that's on the inside. I probably just need to wipe the windows down. So this is the field that Jalen and I mowed down on Sunday. The regrowth that's already starting to come back on this field is phenomenal, guys. We'll get the drone up here in just a few minutes. You guys can watch from above. Jason's come to check my bail weight. I wish you guys could smell this. Come on, bro. Go. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. Go. Get him up. Move him through. Good boy. Move him forward. Come on. That's good. Hey, that's good. Good job, Roxy. Good job.
This side, this side. Come here. Hey. Come here, Rox. Can you guys see her? <laughs> Good boy, boo boo. Come on, push him up. Push him up. That's good. Just nice and easy, Ryder. Just nice and easy. Come here. Keep him in. Keep him in. There you go. Come on. Push him forward. Come on. Come on. Hey, over here. Hey, keep this one up. Hey, move these up here. There you go. Let him get a drink. Wait. Ryder, wait. Roxy, wait. Roxy! Move him up! Come here, Rox. I thought you were just gonna drink the water, Roxy. Dude. Get your truck seen better, but I will tell you that you don't have to go very far off in the clutches. Mm. It's a hot one. Hot when you don't have no AC in it. So when we pick up hay, we do use the skid loader. It's a 320D by Deer with a accumulator tie grabber. Jason's got some string twine issues. It looks like he started a new bundle maybe. So last week or week before, I don't even remember, but my truck's been having some issues. So he finally got it in the shop and adjusted the clutch a little bit and it is um, running central air today. At least there's a breeze down here in the bottom field. My shoot's making noise in here.
high grabber we did run it on a loader tractor but we soon found out that using a skid loader is a lot easier visibility wise I wish you guys could smell this. You're gonna, you're gonna see how much string we run here. You guys can already see the regrowth on this field. And this baler is working its booty off. Like she is, these windrows are good. This alfalfa is beautiful, fantastic. We were having a little bit of problems drying earlier today just with the humidity and the fog and all the things of lovely Missouri August weather, but she is just ticking away. to what? All right. Hey! We are back in the Hain action. Feels good. Um, it's Wednesday. No. Yeah, it's Wednesday. I'm kind of confused because the kids went back to school yesterday, so I'm a little bit off on my days of the week. But it is Wednesday, and August 
and it is hot. It's been hot. Um, so yesterday we bailed. I don't know if I even took any footage yesterday because I was just, we, all, we had just such a small window of time frame to bail. Got the window cleaned off a little bit for you guys. Uh, we've had such a small window to bail in, like literally two and a half, three hours is all we're getting right now, which really stinks because we're hitting some really hot weather. And typically, like, we get hot weather, but the humidity is about to smother us, literally. Like this morning, when I got the kids on the bus, it already felt 90 degrees, and it was like 78 outside. The dew point has been so high lately. But with that being said, we are doing third cut alfalfa, getting it all up. Um, it's just taking longer than we anticipated, which is never fun. Probably gonna get the drone up, just do some aerial stuff and let the machine do its thing and y'all just sit back with your snacks and enjoy the season. Enjoy the day. I have really come to appreciate the 5S 145 by Massey Ferguson. I drove the deer the other day, the 145, which is the same horsepower as this tractor, to mow on. And I can just tell you right now, this, this thing has my life. Like this is my heart tractor, I think. Can you see with the reflection? Um, this tractor has so many cool features and actually somebody asked me on one of my stories about things um, Like how many hours it has like this is like this is giving it to you guys Can you see all that? I mean she's got so many cool functions she can tell you down to like the hour like how much I, I'm worth on this type thing um, I love that everything's at the touch of my fingers. Like, you know, all this right here, this is a joystick. Um, this is my hydraulics, you know, for the baler. Um, obviously I only need one hydraulic, so it's really nice. Do you think you can get out and check my bales here in just a minute, just make sure they're okay? features with this baler is the fact that it is just overall bigger than the 1840. The flywheel is heavier duty. It's just made for commercial baling. You guys, if you're putting up more than 25,000 bales a year, you all need, you all need this baler. Jason's kind of frustrated. I don't think it's going to go. He's stressing. It's so wet. The humidity is just screwing us. One of my favorite things is I don't have to clutch to uh, go through gears. You just keep bumping and you can do it here on this joystick or you can actually do it right here and it'll bump through the gears. Very handy, very nice. We are actually gonna go back over to this other field. The, it's just still a tad too wet. So we'll go back over here and try to well, this other field that I flew through the other day. Um, you watched Jalen and I drone it. If you've watched that video, if not, go check it out. Mm -hmm. 